Bran continues his training under the Three-Eyed Raven. He and the Raven watch a vision of his late father Ned and his uncle Benjamin Stark as young boys training in the grounds of Winterfell by a young Roderick Castle. Bran also witnesses his late aunt Lyanna Stark as a young girl and a much younger Hodor. Through the vision, Bran learns that Hodor used to be a stable boy named, Willis, before he became Simpleton, who is carefully protected from harm by a middle-aged old man. While Bran longs to stay in the vision, he is pulled out by the three-eyed raven, who warns him that he may become too enamored with the past to want to return to reality. Bran finds Mira outside the cave, viewing the world beyond, still grieving over the loss of Jojen. Mira tells Bran that she was having trouble coping with their apparent inaction to the coming war. In response, Bran reminds her that it is no longer safe anywhere outside, to which Mira continues to spurn him. After Bran leaves, Leaf tells Mira of her importance to Bran's future. In another vision, Bran and the Three-Eyed Raven view the events that unfolded at the Tower of Joy towards the end of Robert's rebellion. Ned Stark rides to the Tower of Joy with five of his bannermen, one of them being Howland Reed, to find Lyanna Stark. The tower is guarded by two Kingsguard, Sir Arthur Dane and Lord Commander Gerald Hightower. After the two refuse Ned's requests to learn his sister's fate, the eight men duel. While Gerald Hightower is killed early on, Arthur Dane single-handedly defeats nearly all of Ned's retainers, and is about to kill Ned himself when Howland Reed unexpectedly stabs Dane through the back of the neck, having been injured early on, but not killed. Bran is shocked that the stories he heard were not as honorable as the events that actually unfolded. Ned finishes off Dane by partially decapitating him with his own sword, Dawn, and hears a woman scream from the tower. As Ned runs into the tower to find Lyanna, Bran calls out to him. Ned stops to look around, but is confused because he cannot find the source of the voice. Before Bran can discover what is in the tower for himself, the three-eyed raven brings both of them out of the past. While he acknowledges that the younger Ned had heard Bran, he also warns Bran not to interfere with the past. In another vision of the past, thousands of years ago, Bran and the three-eyed raven witness several children of the forest, including Leaf, create the first White Walker. Once out of the vision and shocked at the revelation, Bran asks Leaf why they did it, and Leaf confesses it was to prevent the First Men from destroying more of their sacred weirwood trees and the extinction of their people during the wars which endangered the children. She then reminds Bran that it was his ancestral culture which inevitably made this a necessary action. Bran, without the consent of the Raven, connects to the weirwood with green sight, and sees an army of whites and white walkers. The Night King, who is present, intercepts his vision by touching him. The three-eyed raven informs Bran that the Night King now has knowledge of their location and the cave's magic won't prevent the White Walkers or Whites from entering due to the mark placed on Bran's arm. The Night King arrives with three other White Walkers and an army of Whites outside the cave, while Bran and the three-eyed raven are in a vision of the past of his father's departure from Winterfell to the Vale. Mira tries to awaken Bran, and Whites dig into the cave and a White Walker enters. Mira kills the White Walker with a dragon glass tipped spear, and several of the children die fighting. The Three Eyed Raven advises Bran to listen to Mira's voice, pleading to Wag into Hodor, which now echoes in their vision. Bran sees a young Willis and Wags into him, resulting in Bran Wagging into present day Hodor as well. Hodor, under Bran's control, assists them in their escape out the cave. Summer stays to defend them against the Whites, and is stabbed to death. The Night King then enters the cave and kills the three-eyed raven, causing him to disintegrate in the vision with Bran. Leaf sacrifices herself to halt the Whites advancing toward Mira, Bran, and Hodor. Hodor, still controlled by Bran, and creates their escape. Hodor, now himself, held the door to hold the Whites from killing everyone, and was slowly being overwhelmed. Mira carries Bran's unconscious body away into the northern winter. Desperate and scared, she screams, Hold the door. Still in the vision of the past of Winterfell Bran sees young Willis, Hodor collapse after his mind returns to his body. Young Willis keeps screaming, hold the door, repeatedly until it slurs in for, Hodor. Bran's possession of young Willis in his vision of the past breaks young Willis's mind and he hears the echoes of Mira's screams, which made his mind simple and only capable of repeating a form of the last words he heard before his death, Hodor. Bran can only look on remorsefully as he realizes what he has done to Willis, Hodor. Mira drags Bran through the woods beyond the wall, while he is still caught in visions about past and future events. 
They are chased by whites and just when they are about to kill them, a hooded person arrives and is able to kill all the whites, using a flaming chain. He urges Bran and Mira to come with him. Later, when they make camp, their rescuer reveals himself, and to Bran's surprise, it is his presumed to have been dead Uncle Benjen. He explains that he was stabbed by a white walker and left to die, but the children of the forest rescued and stopped him from becoming a white. He says that Bran must now be the new three-eyed raven, and that he shall be waiting for the white walkers when they come to the realms of men. Benjen takes Bran and Mira to a weirwood beyond the wall, and explains that he cannot pass due to magic used during the building of the wall to make sure the dead can't go beyond it. He then rides off, leaving Bran and Mira alone by the weirwood. Bran sees the weirwood, and begins to crawl over to it. Mira asks him if he is ready, and he replies that he is now the three-eyed raven, he has to be ready. He then places his hand on the tree and returns to his vision in the Tower of Joy. Following his father inside, he watches Ned find Lyanna in a bed of her own blood. She whispers to him and reveals she has just given birth to a newborn son, imploring Ned to protect him from Robert Baratheon. As Ned takes his infant nephew in his arms, Bran looks on and gulps, realizing the baby is his half-brother, John. 